Hey friends, so we are Janelle and Levi. And in our opinion, a must visit place is Alaska. Yeah, this was on our dream list four years ago when we bought the van. It took us a little bit longer to get there than we thought. And the reputation of Alaska definitely precedes itself. So you can understand that we were a little nervous heading up there if the vision we had of Alaska was greater than it would actually be. And it like far exceeded our expectations. It was amazing. <laughs> Baja, Mexico. It is easily our favorite overlanding destination and one that we talk about going back to all of the time. We honestly love the entire state of Baja, California, Cerebo. And the Todos Santos area in Baja. We actually prefer going a little bit further north of Todos Santos because there's an awesome surfing beach which is home to a lot of overlanders and the beach itself is easily accessible for swimming and surfing. There's not a lot of reef, there's not a lot of sea urchins that you have to worry about and you're close to civilization enough where you still have cell reception. Right yeah. there. We went inland to St. Mount St. Helens. We did, we went over to Mount St. Helens to see that. Kurt had seen it before, I never did. Uh, it was cloudy, so you couldn't get a great view of Mount St. Helens itself. We also got to see, well, I think snow, you got a yeah. migraine, and unfortunately, sort of really didn't get to fully appreciate Multnomah Falls, but that place is an icon and super cool. Be in Arizona. And from that, one of our three must-visit places in Arizona starts in Sedona. Sedona is a place for everything outdoors, or if you just want to be surrounded by red rock formations. Our second must-visit place in Arizona is the Apache Junction area, surrounded by the Superstition Mountains. Major change of scenery you must visit in a tiny town called Sonoida, La Cienegas National Conservation Land. Tennessee. Tennessee is a popular state all the way around. People want to move out into the country, people want to move into the cities, and van lifers love Tennessee. It's beautiful, plenty of places to camp, and normally outside the cities, it's not like you have to go far to find a place to camp. Like Pennsylvania, they got plenty of places to fish and hunt if you want to. Tons of hiking trails, campgrounds, and the Great Smoky Mountains, which is one of the most visited national parks in the country. Tennessee's another state that's really big and off-grid living. 